Oh. Hey guys, welcome to Ustream with Valerie and Joanna. That's not the name of the show, we kind of don't have a show, but we're doing the pre-show for the Friday Hip Hop Report. Oh, Joe Breezy. <laughs> so this is the pre-show kind of, so we got like 41 people starting up. Um, and I'm having some crazy conversations here. We got DR3 Slay, we got Diggy28, we got Market, we got London in the house, heavy. Um, shouts to Ara, shouts to Ivan, Ivan baby. I said I was gonna give you a, aka Sam, Ivan, I don't know which one you wanna go to. What do you look for in a man about? Ivan wants to know what I look for in a man. I look for a man who can understand a working woman. <laughs> I look for a man who compliment me and will help me in the drive of creating and fulfilling my dreams. Um, I like a creative man. I like a businessman. I like somebody who's always working like I am. I don't like lazy. Um, I, I love to cook, clean, and cater for my man. So I like a man who can appreciate a woman that does that for them. Right, Brandon? What? Babe cast? That's cute. <laughs> so I don't, like, physically, like, I don't have, like, a certain phenotype I like in a guy. Like, you don't have to be, like, where are these? This is my playboy friend for the day. You don't have to be a certain race. You don't have to be a certain height. I pref I like tall guys, though. Like, 5'11", it's my ideal. 6 feet. I like taller guys. But short guys get some love, too. I'm only 5 feet. Um, so when is our first date? <laughs> I don't know, I should do a little date contest thing. Can we do that one day? You think that's too dangerous, no? Maybe. So yeah, maybe in like two, three weeks, we'll do some kind of competition. I mean, we had the competition going. We're gonna watch some of the videos in a little no, bit. You're, we're gonna do a photo shoot for Valerie soon, and then she's gonna get pictures, and she's gonna sign, and she'll send them to her fans. Why, somebody asked her? No, we, we said we were gonna do that. The new Angie Martinez, uh-oh. Oh my God, that's a big title to live up to. Big ups to Angie, I love Angie Martinez. Uh, win a date with, hey, who is this our kizzy guy? <laughs> and how's he know Harry? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be on the first 48 hours? Mm, soon, coming soon, show me. I'm years. winning. <laughs> Who's winning? <laughs> Jump man, eighty five. He said, "I'm gonna win." So what do what do most guys out there? Cause I know a lot of the people who watch my show aren't girls. I know that we gotta get some girls to. Are watch. there any girls in this room? No, I don't. Probably not. But what do what do right now? What do guys hate in a girl, and what do they like in a girl? My big question to you today is: Would you wife a vixen? To the guys out there, do you think vixens are baby mom material, or are they just let's go to the club with this girl material? Tell me. 13 year old girl. That's a lie. Are you serious? I'm a 13 year old. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a 13 year old girl, you liar. I feel like my hair is just. I'm a little sick, eh? What is a vixen? A vixen is a girl who's a model, but not like a like high Jessica fashion. Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit is Jessica a vixen. Jessica Rabbit. Girls that are in videos, girls with just um. hot, sexy bodies. Um, girls that are on like Smooth Magazine, any girl who's been on Smooth is a vixen. Um, you know, the big... Big boobs, little waist, big, booties, big booty. small waist, body. Valerie is a five-star chick. Yeah. Men want women that gotta have back and <laughs> explore men like me. Yeah. Okay, we put women into a category. Wifey material and girlfriend material. That's good. Wifey material. So it's a wifey material and girlfriend material. Okay. Girlfriend material has more fun, right? Who has more fun? Would you rather be the wife or the girlfriend? The wife. Mm. Some well, girl. No, there's a di I mean, I don't want. This is not about me. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is not about me. <laughs> Every girl's different. It depends how old you are. Depends how many relationships you've been in. Everybody wants something different. Mm. Lady in the bed, but a freak in the streets. Absolutely. Very well said. <laughs> Who said that first? Somebody Ara, else. the coach. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm talking about music. Somebody's... Love is only an incentive to procreate. From Did an anthropological perspective, that's the purpose of us, us humans here. That's the point, right? Procreation. Anything else is extra. Love is the only... Oh. Girlfriend material are good for a while, but ultimately wifey owns the heart. Absolutely. But why can't 
wife, we have the same fun as girlfriend. But you're not supposed to have a girlfriend and a wife at the same time. She's is that the new She's a side chick. She's not a girlfriend. That's sideline ho, like Maya said. Right. Any woman whose IQ hoovers above her body temperature must be a feminist. Is it bad to be a feminist? Triple X line. Valerie has the prettiest. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I have a chunky face. <laughs> Guys, I just want to say last show I weighed 128 pounds. This show I am 123. I don't know if there's a basil in here, but I'll show you. Vals, are you single? Yes, I'm a little single right now. That's an incident. You go, girl. Who are you? You are skinny. I want to know. Is that your Twitter name? Okay, guys, so let's get to the Mitty Gritty J Music. Hey, hey, J Music, you back this week. Mwah, un besito for the tea. I think I'm ready to send another one. Check your DM, Val. Okay. All right, so what am I show? Boyfriend, you're dropping stuff. <laughs> Drop my glasses. <laughs> so this gives me a Perez Hilton kind of feel. Let's talk about him a little bit. Um, on one of my shows a while ago, we had this whole thing about Perez. And but he, first of all, let's talk about it. Go back to the chat room. Who saw the videos that Black, that what's his name? Um, that Will I Am posted about Perez Hilton a while back, and then Perez pressed charges against him. I personally think that Perez Hilton deserved a punch in the face. Why? You know why? No, he's, he's a jerk. No, he, he writes the meanest things about everybody. Yeah, but it's his job to do that. That's the difference. You see, paparazzi and press because he's artists racist. need. I wouldn't need call that him thing. racist. I just think that he's like a. He's not. Can racist. I curse? I don't want to curse. No, don't curse. This is girl stuff. He's like a girl. Okay, use your mind. He's a girl. Mm. No, but I think that artists need to. Pick a, uh, him. The per mistake Perez is doing is that he's becoming a celebrity. What are you working for? Celebrities writing, making comments on them, or do you want to be a celebrity? That's what I kind of. Well, he's said a celebrity time. blogger, is what he yeah, is. Yeah, but that's the thing. You're either a blogger and he's or a up celebrity. Lady Gaga's ass. <laughs> he kind of made her super hot because he. No, he didn't. She she was hot on her own. No, but he's the one who kind of discovered her first in the freaking in that he's light a, in that English light. <laughs> He's okay. He's not racist. He's actually Spanish. I, I don't know how much he embraces. But I should expect to get more Spanish. of those if he continues. You know what? You're right. He's going to get beat up a whole lot more if he doesn't watch his mouth. No, but nobody has the right to put no hands no matter what you say. It's America. I don't know if you guys speech. know who Rachel Zoe yeah, is, but Rachel Zoe cursed him out on Twitter. And Rachel Zoe is like the nicest person ever. But don't you get it? People like Perez make an artist. Like, if you're not being talked about, then you're not hot. So as an artist, you need to understand that it is his job to do this because he has to build consciousness. <laughs> he said, no, nah, it's okay to punch someone in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It wasn't okay for nothing to... It didn't, I think phys getting physical was, like, out of control, but... The thing is, Perez has dropped the assault charges against the Black Eyed Peas manager. So after all that mumble jumble noise and whatever, whatever, charges have been dropped. Uh, Perez, what are we gonna do? I like to be Perez friend. I like it. Oh, that's so nice. I'm not sure to you can do anything. Thank you, hey, ladies John. and gentlemen. Y'all are super sexy. Think was sexy, man. So I'm gonna do the rest of the show in a little southern accent. <laughs> Cause I think it's kind of cool. Valerie has like every accent. <laughs> um, so some other crazy, kind of crazy, crazy news is um, something that happened. Explosives were found outside of the offices of TI's label Grand Hustle in Atlanta. I had somebody from Atlanta here talking to me, so do you have any insider on what really <laughs> happened in Atlanta? Because this is what we know. From Where's our Atlanta person? Give us a scoop. What do you know you about that? Name, what do you mean, Arrow? Yeah, that's <laughs> about a publicity So, Is it a public? You think? Javon, are you from Atlanta? Well, I planted them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna call that one right now. Was this a confession? I don't want to be a conspiracy to this. <laughs> he never won. He never oh, well, who won cares if he won? We're not talking about Jay, we're talking about T.I. So far. What do you mean far? You want to be in your face? <laughs> do you want to see my eye? 
<laughs> you guys want to see dimples, my spot? Oh my dimples. My birth defect. Un besito. Everyone come to your TV and give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Are you giving me a kiss, Ara? Ara, dame un beso. Look, look. <laughs> yes. Okay, so um, I'm going to take my hat off now. You think it's about Okay, you ready? 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 My hair's all messed up. Oh. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is messed up, but I don't care. You know me, guys. I'm real. This is real hair, though. No fake. I'm going to have fake hair, I think, soon, because I miss my hair. But I'll fix it for the show, Will, the hair person. It's kind of short on the back. See? No, it's short. It's a little bit longer in the front. And if I add water, don't worry, people. It still curls up. I just blow dried it, and it's straight, and that's it. Be nice, Sarah. You go hat back on. Five minutes ago. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is something really hot going on right now. You guys want me to put my hat back on or wear the cap? Another hat? No so, way. Ja Rule is done. So we have something kind of positive going on here. T Pain, Lil Wayne, and Neil, their moms. What are their moms doing? Their moms have teamed up to create a new talk show. Um, it's probably going to be called, or I think it's going to be called, Dinner Table Discussions. Um, there's no network that I know of that has picked it up, but you know what that means. It might be on YouTube. <laughs> but um, they're doing this project together, and it's kind of good. Powerful women together, T-Pain, Lil Wayne, and Neil, three talented people, so the moms must be kind of great. They made those talented kids. They want a check. That's what they want. They got money already. They probably yeah, but they want their own check. The community that they can get off the kids. Most moms are the managers. Anyway. What's it about anyway? Um, it's gonna be called dinner table discussion. So about probably things moms or industry moms have to deal with. Or I don't know. They've got three boy sons. So I don't know. I what don't do you, know. What do you guys think they could possibly have a show about? I think it would be about having a famous son. Okay, so we're about to do something really cool, and you can say that Jump Off TV and Valerie did this first. Um, oh, wait, let me um, um, Beyonce. So Beyonce's in London, and she's doing the uh oh uh oh, oh, and her outfit's looking kind of great, and she's doing her thing. And she does something that most rock and roll people love to do. I want you to take a look at.